Aloha! Welcome to Let's Play Sonic Lost Lands Part 3. Part Do. Part Trez. Excuse me. So, as you can probably guess, this is Spring Summit. Now, Spring Summit, much like the last level, is a major FU part of the game. It's not that hard to figure out, honestly, once you get past the initial shock that this is actually the same level from the original game, just with a fresh coat of paint and whatnot. You can actually get through this level pretty quickly. Uh, either today or tomorrow will be a special two-video kind of day. Um, kind of leaning more towards tomorrow. Uh, today's been a little rough. I haven't exactly been having the best day. And people have been bugging me to, uh talk to them more. I don't really feel like talking to a lot of the people that I know. So I have uh, kind of decided just to chill out and probably do a one episode today or tomorrow, and the other day will probably be a two video kind of day. So that's what's up with me. And uh, I plan on recording all of this footage today and uploading it to YouTube. I will try and make this as short and as possible, painless as possible. I'm not promising anything due to the uh, fact that this game has its FU moments right in it, but I will try and make this as quick and as painless as possible for everyone watching so that we can all get on with our daily lives. I know that a lot of people haven't been tuning into YouTube to see me, so I don't really care all that much, you know, uh, I have other things that I could be doing, not at the current moment, but, you know, I could be doing other things for fun than recording this, but this was Spring Summit Episode Act 1, which was kind of painful, seeing that it took so long to complete, I was hoping it would go by faster, so I don't know if you've noticed yet, but Spring Summit is, once again, another track that borrows its music from Sonic 3D Blast. And I kinda like the music, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I like the music choice that they brought out for this game. You know, it gives me that feel that, you know, you're in a carnival or something. Something you enjoyed as a kid. And, and there's fun and springs everywhere and uh, spike balls of doom. But you know what? I like it. The music makes me happy. It reminds me of when I was a kid. So, it's always a plus. Anyways, I am probably not going to get the Chaos Emeralds in this game, mainly because of the impossibility of uh, getting them all. You know, I have thought about it, honestly, whether or not I'm going to go for all of the Chaos Emeralds and uh, go for broke. Oh, I guess we got to go up here. So, as you can see... This zone is, uh, this zone likes to dick people around a lot. When you think there's an area or a shortcut you can go to follow, you can see I went all the way down there thinking there was a shortcut, um, but there was none. This game actually relies very heavily on the fact that it's tied in with the other Sonic, the, Hed the original Sonic the Hedgehog, and the levels are just rehashes with uh, new music and, of course, fresh skin. But you know what? I, you know, other than the fact that it's a rehash, it, it's still a rather enjoyable game. It's a great ROM hack for anybody that wants to play it. I recommend it. The music's fun. It keeps me wanting to play. Um, it's not a painful to a point where, oh my god, this game is terrible. Why am I playing this? I actually find myself playing this game for hours on end before uh, on my PSP before I uh, go to do it on the Let's Play. And um, even though I've played this quite a few times on my Let's Play, or on my PSP, I guess this is still partially blind in the Let's Play because I've never done it for people on YouTube. And I'm thinking that's my problem that I'm doing so bad is because I'm not used to doing this for an audience. But this is Spring Summit Act 3. It's really not that bad. As you can see, it's got a fresh coat of paint for the level. 
you know, nothing... Other than that, nothing really has changed. There's still a lot of cool things hiding around the level, so feel free to search around for them. Uh, don't feel shy about picking up items if you think you're going to need them. Get those item boxes. This is the last level before we face off with the Robotnik. While I've been doing this episode, I've decided tomorrow will be a two-episode special where I will be tackling Labyrinth Zone, and I will also be tackling... Um, I will also be tackling uh, Starlight Zone's counterpart in this game. So, as you can see, I'm going to have a very busy schedule tomorrow. I might play a little Resident Evil 4 before I get started on the Let's Play. I am, uh, I'm trying... Yeah, I said Resident Evil 4. I have the game on the PlayStation 2. I am playing it right now. I'm almost to the point where you rescue Ashley. But, you know, I'm kind of taking my time enjoying the game. I'm not trying to rush through it like most people would to get all the awesome weapons and uh, stuff like that. And I just screwed myself over. Now I gotta climb back up here. Uh, thankfully, the Badniks are dead, so you don't need to worry about them coming back. So you can just climb right back up here. And see, there's no Badnik there, but I squished myself. This level relies really heavily on whether or not you die by uh, getting squished or something else entirely. So, this level itself is a bit of a pain. I will be finishing the level, fear not. I just didn't want people to say that I am being lazy or something and not doing the levels that I said I would be doing. Some Lost Lands is still on. You can honestly see it on my channel. Uh, I know a lot of people probably won't watch, but whatever. I'm still going to do the Let's Play. I'm going to finish it. I'm going to continue on with my Let's Plays and all that good type stuff. You know, one one person not watching isn't going to affect me any. And there we go. I'm actually through that area, th through the first area. It's a real pain when you've got to do two or three of these areas at a level, because you've got to be careful where you jump next. For example, see, if I had managed to land backwards, I would have landed on that platform, but nope. Spike Balls of Doom. So, how has... Uh, I know this is probably breaking the fourth wall for a lot of people, but how has your New Year's been? Did you, uh, did you go out and celebrate? Did you do this good type stuff? What did you do on New Year's? Did you celebrate with family? Did you celebrate with friends? You know, let me get, know what you guys did for New Year's. I'm very interested to hear some stories. Leave them in the comments below. And I'm getting text messages left and right on my phone. Uh, I'm not going to put the Let's Play down to answer this phone. Sorry, guys. Whoever's calling me, uh, you'll have to give me a couple of minutes, because I am... Ooh. That's not good. Yeah, there's plenty of spike ball traps and other douchebaggeries in this level, so don't expect to get off scot-free. You will be taking damage, and you will be falling to your doom quite a lot. As a matter of fact, this game, like I said, this game actually got its roots in douchebaggery. Not that I mind, but... God damn it, get up there, Sonic. See, this is what's gonna kill you right here, is because when they uh, redesigned this game, they made it so the levels seem almost impossible to get through. And unless you know what you're doing, you're gonna be stuck there for a good solid 10 minutes trying to get through a level. But that's not going to happen to me, because I'm almost finished with this level! And you know what? I'm proud to admit that it took me as long as it did. This game is difficult. It's not Sonic easy. It's not an original Sonic game. I mean, if you want a game to hold your hand, go out and get the first Sonic the Hedgehog. Go get the original. But this game will not hold your hand. This game will make you actually work. I know. Well, this because, well... Well, anyways, this is Dr. Ivory Botnik. Here's how I'm going to take this battle. 
I'm going to stand at the furthest end of the platform. I'm going to make Robotnik drop down. Hit Robotnik one or two times. And I'm going to use this to avoid using up too many platforms. That's right. If you can hit Robotnik enough times, just by standing on one platform, you can actually end the level rather quickly. And that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm waiting for Robotnik to come down on the platform I'm standing on, so not to lose any more platforms than I have to. And honestly, it's a very annoying cycle, and a lot of people will say, oh, you're cheating the boss. No, I'm making the boss battle easier for myself, because Robotnik is a pain in the ass in this mod, in this hack. And as you can see, it took an even longer time to beat him. I actually got in here a little after two minutes. It took two minutes to beat the boss. But this has been Spring Summit. I hope you guys enjoyed the game. If you liked what you saw, rate, comment, subscribe. Tomorrow, two episodes. I will see you then.